feeling my <sighs> bow. Um, FYI and TMI. <laughs> I'm on my period right now. Give it up for the period. Yeah, period. Yeah. Put, 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 put. I'm trying to make this video not seem like awkward because I'm talking about a period. Period. Oh, Sasha. Hey guys, what's up? Some Sasha404 here, and today I'm gonna be talking about periods. Yay! Thumbs up this video already for the awkwardness some people might start to feel, or if you're a guy and you're like, oh, periods. Thumbs it up. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time like a really long time but every time i film it i just don't like it because i feel like i'm trying to put so much information into one video like and then i just sound all over the place which i'm probably gonna sound all over the place in this video but the difference between the other video and this video this video is going up whether i'm all over the place or not yeah i kind of have a little you know agenda here so hopefully i stay on track and i don't want to put so much information and if you guys just have any other questions you can leave them down in the down bar in the comment area and then i'll either film another video or just answer you guys questions down there so simple as that right and thumbs up again if you're like digging my little bow here it's so cute i'm i'm like i'm like obsessed okay so first thing is i'm gonna tell you guys when i got my period i believe i got my period when i was in eighth grade and I did get it at school, but luckily my mother had a talk with me. Um, she told me that if it did ever come on at school to go to the bathroom, get some toilet paper, roll it up, put it on my underwear, and then call her. Because, you know, tissue can act as a pad or something to catch the blood flow when it comes on. So that's what I did. I called her. She picked me up early. She was like, ah, you're a woman. And I'm like, yay. So I wasn't like, yay. Actually, I was like, oh, no. But, um yeah but yeah so um i came home and yeah that was that um when i was in when i first got it and like during eighth grade and like high school well up to like ninth grade um uh, my period was fine i think because i used to walk to school and walk everywhere a lot i rarely had cramps my period only lasted four days um but yeah as i grow older it changed which was a pain in the butt um i got more cramps and things like that and it, it just kind of sucked it, it really sucked and when i moved to georgia it got worse i feel like i don't know if it's because the altitude changes or what but when i moved to georgia the, the pain went to like another level i mean it's bearable pain sometimes but it just whew, it went to another level but yeah i'm not trying to scare you guys or anything but yeah that's my kind of like background story of periods i mean you hate it and you love them but we'll get to that in another video why you might love your periods anyways how did it feel um i kind of just went over that it wasn't really painful when i first got it um i do get like cramps now and it's you know if it gets really really bad then i either just lay on my heating pad and it'll go away or if i can't if nothing if the heating pad's not doing it i'll take a painkiller but i really don't like taking painkillers but yeah so now i'm gonna get into the video and kind of just answer some questions and tell you guys how you know what to use during a period and things like that but i want to put a disclaimer i am not a gynecologist or a doctor i am just telling you guys my experience and my um opinions on what worked for me and hopefully they work for you and you know vice versa and things like that because i don't want y'all to think oh girl sasha knows what she's talking about so i'm gonna do what she said no you know you have to you know like try it out every girl is different and things like that so what age do you get your period well the average age is 12 to 13 but you can get it younger um, my friend told me she got hers at 10 years old um, another friend told me they got theirs at 9 and then um, I I got mine in 8th grade I don't remember what age I was and then some people don't get it until like they're 16 so you know or older so yeah um, how long does it last uh, it varies it can last as short as 3 days to like the longest I know is seven days. I think it can go like almost more than a week, but whew, props to those girls who get it more than a week. If you get it more than a week, I am so sorry. Like, I am so sorry. Me, myself, I get mine for four to five days. Um, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's like a little bit of like a fifth day, like ending there. Does it hurt? The only thing that the period itself, like the blood flow doesn't hurt. The thing that hurts is like 
the um I guess side effects not side effects but like yeah the PMSing part of it like your cramps you get cramping and back pain and sometimes headaches and nausea it's just like ugh. It's just a lot. I'm gonna get into the things that you use. If you guys have any other like detailed questions, you can leave them down below and I'll make another video. Also, I do take birth control pills, so if you guys want me to do a separate video on that and you have any questions of birth control and things like that, you can leave them in the down bar. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a pad. This is um, the Always Brown. I just like the Always Brown. That's my preference. But um, a pad looks like this. This is how a pad looks. And you just sit it. It has like a sticky part on the back. And you just sit it on your underwear. This is the overnight though. So I like buying the overnight ones because I just feel more protected. But um, yeah, so you just sit it in your panty and it just catches all the blood. This is the Always Infinity brand. Um, this is my preference. This is the one I like. And the next thing you can also use is a tampon, which I like using. These ones, these are like, these were like super cute and I so I bought them, but I don't really care for them that much. I like the regular size ones. These are like miniature, like put in your purse kind, but I don't know. I don't really like them. So this is a tampon. This is how a tampon looks. It looks intimidating and a little, I guess, scary, but yeah, there's a great video of this girl. You may know her, but she taught me how to put in a tampon. Oh, that video is so funny and it taught me how to put in like a tampon, no lie. I'll have it linked down below. It's genius. But yeah, this is basically how it looks. And then you like push this little applicator down and then cloth comes out. Let's see. see and then this part goes inside of you which is like really scary this part goes inside of you and then this part you throw away so this part's in you but if you watch her video it's like much better and she splings it really well and it's funny um so yeah another thing i heard you can use is like the cup or the d cup i'll have it right here like a i'll have a picture slash the real word i know it's a cup i've never used it but that is also an option and Panty liners. Panty liners are usually used like in the beginning if your period is like really light or in the end when your period is really light. Also, um, some tips um, to also like keep like a bag like with pads and tam or tampons or both. I wear tampons and pads because I feel more protected that way. But um, you, can sh you should carry like a little pouch, maybe like a little makeup bag size of tampons and pads in your purse. Just keep it there just in case you know your period comes on and you're out and things like that you would always have an emergency little stash in your bag also i would if you want you can also use wipes if you want to feel more cleaner that's an option too you can use those wipes um another option is to get an app so that you can keep track of your period i'm going to tell you guys the one that i have on my phone i have an android by the way so the one i have is called the my calendar it's this app right here hopefully it focuses let's just give it a minute my camera likes to take its time this is the app it's the my calendar and if you just click it and open it you know it kind of looks like this and see it's my second day of my period yay and then the calendar and then it shows you when your next period will be and things like that and when you're fertile and it's really helpful and it might not be like as as accurate especially if you're like if you have your period and it jumps all over the place sometimes you know it doesn't come on the day it says but it'll give you an idea so you can always have that extra pads and tampons and things like that in your bag that is the end of my video let me make sure yes it is that is the end i did it i'm so happy and i hope you guys enjoyed this little info video um comment down below again if you guys want me to do the birth control video and if you guys have any other questions about birth control or periods that i missed um also don't forget to subscribe and check out my last video it'll be linked down below thumbs up this video thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye welcome back back again welcome back Back again, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, brum <laughs>